name is Catherine Ahern, and I manage the visualization and analytics department at Clear Story Data. Uh, there are two things. Uh, one is it gave me a deadline to accomplish some things that I promised for the talk, which was very helpful for me professionally. And the other is that I came early and I'm getting to hear some real industry leaders, just some amazing talks, particularly on machine learning. Um, and I've, I've been interested in predictive analytics and UX on large data sets for a while. So seeing both how young the industry is, uh, is very validating because when ClearStory handles some very challenging projects, you sort of, uh, I've, Sometimes I feel like it, the answer should be obvious, but it's actually a pretty young industry. So we're all working on pretty new technologies and using new metaphors, using new techniques. I've always thought data was cool and exciting. <laughs> um, you know, when I started grad school, uh, we were talking about the data explosion, and um, that was in 2004, and it was amazing that you could have terabytes of data that was just psychotically large. It was like more than in, in history, and there was this hockey stick curve to just sheer quantity. Uh, and now my, um, my own dad is talking about needing a bigger computer because he needs a terabyte to store his vacation photos. <laughs> I'm just, uh, the, the scale is really, uh, um, I didn't think it would get bigger, but it has by many, um, many multiples. <laughs> I know, it's, yeah, I mean, there was the perception that things couldn't get faster, that there was going to be some sort of plateau, but that was a decade ago, you know, 15 years ago. Uh, pay attention to user intention, clarity of communication, availability of workflows, and whether that will yield correct analytics results. Because there, there are ways to mislead uh, people that can be subtle and um, but true. So ways to sort of bring intentionality to user selection of data. Um, I'm, I'm speaking specifically of aggregation, levels of aggregation and granularity. Um, so ways of bringing user attention to that, but not overwhelming a user with uh, workflows or selection opportunities that are irrelevant, because that is a, a tough balance in developing an analytics product. Uh, well, uh, you should learn D3 and then come work at Clear Story. If you want to become great, if you want to become good enough, you can uh, um, work for other companies.